Hey guys, I'm Cody, and you're buying Past Life Pro. And today, I thought I'd teach you how to adjust the all too visible chromatic aberration, which are those red, green, and blue lines that project off of most everything. And yes, in the Cuda V6.2.81 Ultra. My friends, let's get started. First, if the cutest shader runs zipped, you're ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate final.fsh. Use Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 28. For those that want the chromatic aberration effects to be 100% disabled, here's where you'd be to do that. You'd simply add the two slashes to the beginning of the text, but I'm not going to do that. Instead. My business will be to lessen the amount, rather than completely getting rid of it. Scroll down to line 304. For decreasing or increasing the visible amount of chromatic aberration, 0.01 .01 is what you'll change. Larger numbers equal more chromatic aberration, where smaller numbers equal less. For my taste, like I said before, I want less, but I don't want the effect completely disabled. So, I'm going with 0.007. As for your choice, this comparison should help you out. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. All versions of the Cuda Shader will in time change, so if you have any questions, in the future, or in the now, and I'd be happy to help you out, in the comment section down below. If this Cuda Shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!